Hi, it's Kerry. I'm going to do an update on my Tyrannosaurus collection today. At the end, I'm going to show you a special Tyrannosaurus that isn't in the box. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs. This gold T-Rex is by Schleich. It was a special limited edition one that I bought a few years ago. It's really nice. I'm going to talk about each dinosaur a little bit, but mainly just some general interesting facts about dinosaurs. Some you might know, but I hope to give you a few new ones. Tyrannosaurus rex was a Celurosaurian theropod dinosaur. The species Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the most well represented of the large theropods. Tyrannosaurus lived throughout what is now Western North America on what was then an island continent known as Laramidia. Tyrannosaurus had a much wider range than other Tyrannosaurids. Fossils are found in a variety of rock formations dating back to the Upper Cretaceous period 68 to 66 million years ago. I really like this red Tyrannosaurus. Lots of great detail. The green one in the background there is actually my favourite though. Tyrannosaurus was the last known member of the Tyrannosaurids and among the last non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. Like other Tyrannosaurids, Tyrannosaurus was a bipedal carnivore with a massive skull balanced by a long heavy tail. Relative to its large and powerful hind limbs, the forelimbs were short but unusually powerful for their size and had two clawed digits. The most complete specimen measures up to 12.3 metres which is 40 feet in length and up to 3.66 metres which is 12 feet tall at the hips and is estimated to weigh between 8.4 tonnes and 14 tonnes when alive. Although other theropods rivaled or exceeded Tyrannosaurus rex in size, it is still among the largest known land predators and is estimated to have exerted the largest bite force among all terrestrial animals. This is a really good model. This is a Papo Tyrannosaurus rex. I really like the detail on the jaw. The teeth are really good. I'll close the mouth in a minute and you'll see what I mean. Look at that, you see the overbite there. All the muscles and skin folds. It's a great model. By far the largest carnivore in its environment, Tyrannosaurus rex was most likely an apex predator, preying upon hadrosaurs, armored herbivores like ceratopsians, which would include triceratops and ankylosaurs and possibly sauropods. And here's the later version with the purple colours. A great model. Tyrannosaurus was an opportunistic scavenger, just like modern day lions, tigers and predatory birds. More than 50 specimens of Tyrannosaurus rex have been identified, some of which are nearly complete skeletons. The abundance of fossil material has allowed significant research into many aspects of its biology, including its life history and biomechanics, which refers to the way it moved its body and limbs. This is my favourite green dinosaur. I love the little gold dots on the back of the head and on the knees. I've actually painted this dinosaur. There is a video where I've drawn and painted it. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the largest land carnivores of all time. The largest complete specimen, located at the Field Museum of Natural History, is nicknamed Sue. Although not every adult Tyrannosaurus specimen recovered is as big. The neck of Tyrannosaurus rex formed a natural S-shaped curve like that of other theropods. Now I'm just looking at these legs here, they look a little bit thin on this model. I think they should have been much more muscular 
and strong to support the weight of Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus had a short and muscular neck to support the massive head. The forelimbs only had two clawed fingers along with an additional small metacarpal representing the remnant of a third digit. In contrast, the hind limbs were among the longest in proportion to body size of any theropod. The tail was heavy and long, sometimes containing over 40 vertebrae in order to balance the massive head and body. This is the Papo Tyrannosaurus. It's a little bit of a tripod stand, but it's still a beautifully detailed dinosaur. To compensate for the immense bulk of the animal, many bones throughout the skeleton were hollow, reducing its weight without significant loss of strength. You can see those teeth again. The largest known Tyrannosaurus rex skull measures up to 1.45 metres, which is 4.8 feet in length. This blue T-Rex came with my volcano from Schleich. I'm not so sure about the colour because I really like that green one. I think it's a much nicer paint job. But this is nice and bright and colourful. Large fenestrae or openings in the skull reduced weight and provided areas for muscle attachment as in all carnivorous theropods. Tyrannosaurus's skull was quite different from those of large non-tyrannosauroid theropods. It was extremely wide at the rear but had a narrow snout with front facing eyes allowing unusually good binocular vision. There's still quite a few dinosaurs in my box. I'm having trouble reaching them. I think I'll just tip them out. That's better. The skull bones were massive and the nasals and some of the other bones were fused, preventing movement between them. Although many of them had a honeycomb texture with tiny air spaces which may have made the bones more flexible as well as lighter. I've just spotted the twin, we don't need to look at that one. These and other skull strengthening features are why it had such a powerful bite force. The tip of the upper jaw was U-shaped which increased the amount of tissue and bone a Tyrannosaur could rip out with one bite with its front teeth. Most non tyrannosauri carnivores had V-shaped upper jaws. Ah, this is the feathered T-Rex. The teeth of Tyrannosaurus rex were different in shape. The teeth at the front of the upper jaw were closely packed and were D-shaped in cross-section. They had reinforcing ridges on the rear surface with a tip shaped like chisel-like blades and curving backwards. The shape of these teeth reduced the risk of them snapping when Tyrannosaurus bit down and pulled. The remaining teeth were strong and banana shaped rather than daggers and were more widely spaced and had reinforcing ridges. The teeth in the upper jaw were larger than those in all but the rear of the lower jaw. The largest found so far is estimated to have been 30.5 centimetres which is 12 inches long including the root when the animal was alive, making it the largest tooth of any carnivorous dinosaur yet found. Some researchers suggest that large theropods like Tyrannosaurus had teeth covered in lips like modern day lizards, rather than having bare teeth like crocodiles. This is based on the presence of enamel, which may need to remain hydrated, an issue not faced by aquatic species like crocodilians or toothless species like birds which have no lips and toothless beaks. In modern terrestrial animals with bare teeth, the teeth typically lack some or all of the standard amount of tooth enamel. This is one of my oldest dinosaurs. It's a bit knocked around but I can't bear to part with it. Getting back to the enamel on teeth, because Tyrannosaurus and other tooth theropods had enamel covered teeth, they would have required some sort of lip-like covering to seal the mouth when closed 
or possibly even large fat scales that left no room for lip. Does Bletosaurus horneri, a related genus, had large scales similar to those of crocodiles on its face? Tyrannosaurus is a member of the Tyrannosaurine subfamily, which also includes the North American Despletosaurus and the Asian Tarbosaurus. This is one of my older dinosaurs too. I really like this shape because the head's down low, which is good for when I'm battling the dinosaurs. I'll show you in a moment what I mean. So you can see that the head's quite low. Normally on most models it's up a lot higher. As the archetypal theropod, Tyrannosaurus is one of the best known dinosaurs since the 20th century and has been featured in film, advertising, postal stamps, as well as many other types of media. When a juvenile Tyrannosaurus reaches around 14 years of age, its body size begins to increase dramatically. During this rapid growth phase, a young Tyrannosaurus rex would gain an average of 600 kilos or 1,300 pounds a year for the next four years. At 18 years of age, that growth is slowed down dramatically. This is a great feathered Tyrannosaurus. While there's no direct evidence for Tyrannosaurus rex having had feathers, many scientists now consider it likely that T. rex had feathers on at least parts of its body during some stage of its life due to their presence in related species. The first evidence for feathers in Tyrannosaurids came from the small species Delong Paradoxus, found in China and reported in 2004. As with many other theropods discovered, the fossil skeleton was preserved with a coat of filamentous structures which are commonly recognised as the precursors of feathers. This is a cutie. He's just making his way out of the shell. I like how the little two-fingered claws are on either side of the shell. Because all known skin impressions from larger Tyrannosaurids, known at the time, showed evidence of scales, the researchers who studied Geelong thought that juveniles may have been feathered, then shed the feathers, leaving only scales, as the animal became larger and no longer needed insulation to stay warm. However, even in some large Tyrannosaurids, they had feathers covering much of their bodies, so it may not be a size-related issue after all. Tyrannosaurus rex stood with its body approximately parallel to the ground and the tail extended behind the body to balance the head. The Tyrannosaurus rex arms are very small relative to overall body size, measuring only 1 metre or 3.3 feet long. The bones show large areas for muscle attachment, indicating considerable strength. The forelimbs may have been used to grasp a mate and possibly were used to assist the animal in rising from a prone or lying down position. Another possibility is that the forelimbs held struggling prey. Studies have concluded that seven traces of collagen proteins detected in purified Tyrannosaurus rex bone most closely match those reported in chickens, followed by frogs and newts. Subsequent studies confirm the close connection of Tyrannosaurus rex to modern day birds. Scientists are not sure if Tyrannosaurus was endothermic, which means warm blooded. Like most dinosaurs, it was long thought to have an ectothermic or cold-blooded reptilian metabolism. And here's my surprise Tyrannosaurus. I really like this. I think I've got the cord a bit caught up on it there. The eyes flash as well. I think with T-Rex's lightweight bones and extensive muscles, it would have been able to move quite fast. The tail which has muscles, which link the tail bones and the upper leg bones, could have assisted Tyrannosaurus in leg retraction and enhanced its running ability, agility and balance. Moving the tail would also change the mass centre towards the hips. I'm just going to have a bit closer look. This is all nice and soft around the head. See the two little claws there? Then we've got a firm body and a movable tail and that's how it moves little rollers on the bottom there. 
soft moving the tail would have also lessened the strain on the leg muscles to support its weight, improving its overall balance and agility. This would also have made the animal less front heavy, thus reducing rotational inertia. And I nearly forgot my Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus shared the heightened sensory abilities of other coelurosaurs, highlighting relatively rapid and coordinated eye and head movements, as well as enhanced ability to sense low frequency sounds that would allow Tyrannosaurus to track prey movements from long distances and an enhanced sense of smell. And here they all are, set out on my bench. Tyrannosaurus would have been able to see quite well as well, especially objects in the far distance. Such an interesting dinosaur. And I'm not going to knock these down with a Spinosaurus either. Thank you for watching my video, it really helps if you can share my videos on any of the other social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.